Okay, hello. I gotta make a video about something that is so incredibly stupid. It's like making a video on why you shouldn't give, like, loaded weapons to a five-year-old. I mean, it's that stupid. It's like, really, really, really? Do I need to explain something that stupid? Um, it's actually so stupid, I'll link the video to you below, that the very funny people over on Digital Rev, I mean, they're sitting there, they're, the two guys are sitting there with a white board, and they're talking about, and there's a new video to this, there's actually a follow-up that uh, another person made about blowing on your sensor to clean it like, I'm sitting here with my breath, <gasps> God, it's just so stupid. Uh, but the, the guy's a digital rev. Uh, you know, they're sitting there pissing themselves laughing. I won't name the video, but I will give you the link to Digital Rev where they're actually talking about this. And uh, they're actually... <laughs> the very premise is just so deranged that anybody with two brain cells is just... And it, I think we all know that there are more than a few people that have less than two brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing for the same reason that the, the guys at Digital Rev are laughing about this as well. And this is just such insanely bad advice that when I first saw this video two weeks ago when I was informed about it, I thought since I have cameras to destroy, I would take one in here and every day I've been blowing it. And obviously you wouldn't be cleaning your sensor every day. But to prove a point, even though I brush my teeth several times a day and I am like extremely... I mean, my mouth is just cleaner than you can imagine. But as any dentist will tell you, there, uh, the food, number one, when you start eating your food, it's not broken down in your stomach. It starts getting broken down in your mouth. I mean, need I tell you that how much bacteria and acid is in your mouth? I mean, it, you have the cleanest mouth in the world and use mouthwash twice a day. You, you breathe on something, you've got bacteria. I mean, you don't have to be spit on or sneezed at to catch a virus. I mean, people that are breathed on that have, you know, colds and all sorts of other cooties, you know, they catch diseases. And it's not actual liquid transfer. It's actual viruses and bacteria in your breath. I mean, people will obviously get sick from being sneezed on because it's actually spit flying. And, uh, you know, uh, some crazy people have said, well, you know, we're talk talking about spitting on the set. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's ridiculous. Same reason you don't blow on the front of your lens element because there is acid in your breath and it will strip away the AR coating. Anyway, <laughs> this is so stupid, I can't believe I'm making a video about it. But anyway, two weeks ago, I started blowing on this. <sighs> and anyway, the guy does a mirror up and he talks about the benefits of using your breath. It's just... It's just insane. I mean, it's just like saying, well, you know, like, uh, give sharp knives to toddlers. I mean, it's just, there's bad advice and there's advice that's just so absolutely insane that you just got to go, oh, my God, the world is going to hell in a handbasket. This advice is just so stupid. But i let you see here, as something else I pointed out to people, that there's three points to this. The focusing screen that's up here, which I just took out about 20 minutes ago, by the way, you can see, where is it here? We have fungus growth. You see the white spot? I'm able to bring it further. You see the white spot over here? I've already got fungus growth underneath my focusing screen, which I just removed. You can see that milky white spot right here, right? Now, I brush my teeth every time. I only eat once a day, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm fat and I only eat once a day. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just so insane. Everybody got focus. Uh, you already have, by the way, it's really hard to get your focusing screen in and out unless you got the right tools and the right skills. But anyway, fungus uh, started to develop uh, underneath the focusing screen. I just took it out and you can see the milky white spot there. So that's point one, why this is so incredibly stupid. Now, point number two is that this reflex mirror in your digital SLR camera, you think that's a mirror. It's like, oh, it's a mirror. I look into my back. No, no. No, that's a semi-transparent mirror that is so ungodly delicate, as I've told, showed you in other videos, the notion that you're going to breathe acidic air into this. Now, the guy was doing sensor cleaning with the mirror up, but that doesn't matter. The focusing screen was up here, and it was covered by the reflex mirror, and he was, of course, clean. He was, had the, uh, the shutter open, and he was, ah, ah, you know, breathing on the sensor, and then he was wiping. It just... Do, do I have to tell anybody about the amount of bacteria and fungal growth, not to mention the acid? Now, you could have the driest mouth in the world, but every time you take in a breath of air, it, uh, it, uh, 
you have uh, acidic uh, gases uh, from your lungs and uh, from your esophagus they get deposited when you breathe out. I mean, it's the fact that every doctor and anybody with two brain cells on planet Earth knows about. So, you're destroying this incredibly sensitive mirror, which is not like a regular mirror like in your bathroom, okay? It's semi-transparent. It has an almost quasi-liquid surface to it. I mean, the slightest little touch from your Q-tip will scratch the piss snot out of this. So the acids on it, you can actually see, well you can't because I don't have enough illumination, but there's already a milky film that's developed from the, the acid from my breath that's actually eaten away at this mirror. Let's not mention, you know, how incredibly insane the delicate coating is on uh, the, uh, not the sensor, of course the sensor as I've showed you before is buried underneath uh, a few layers of glass, but that has a very sensitive coating on it and the acids will eat away at it. So, you got fungus growth that I just proved to you and showed to you. You can see the milky spot right there. You see it? That's growing underneath the focusing screen. Can I even tell you how stupid that is? You know, it's like, oh my god, no, I, for some reason, my, when I look through my viewfinder, now it's bad. It's like, oh, were you breathing on your sensor to clean it like that uh, other video I made two videos about? Well, I, yeah, I, <laughs> oh my god, how stupid. How stupid. Um, we don't need to mention anybody here, but it just, God, I mean, do I have to make a video about how dumb this is? Just, just insanity magnified. Just multipli... Here's a term I've always kind of liked. M-I. Multiplicative insanity. It's like stupidity when you actually you take more stupidity and you, you couple it up. It's not like, well, we got four stupidity. No, we got insanity going on here. Um, just really, really dumb, and uh, I'll link you the video below of the guys at Digital Rev that were talking about this video, and recently another video was made about this. It, it's just incredibly stupid, and please, God, don't follow advice like that. I'm going to be doing a sensor cleaning video next week, um, showing you the proper ways and the proper tools to clean your sensor. There's already a, a couple good. Really, there are only a couple of them, but one of them's really good. Um, but I'll show you a, a video of uh, how to clean your sensor properly and cheaply too. I and mean, people send it off to Nikon. God knows you got to pay for shipping, and they charge you. I don't know what it is now, forty or fifty bucks. But I'll show you how uh, with forty dollars worth of tools and a simple blower, you could do it yourself, and that will give you the tools to do it uh, for a dozen more times. So for forty bucks and a blower, which is like eight bucks, so fifty bucks total, you can do a dozen dis different sensor cleanings. So I'll show that to you here within a week or so, but please God, don't follow this advice about breathing on your sensor. I just proved this case, it took me two weeks since I saw the video, that's all it took me blowing on this, uh, blowing in this uh, every every day. Um, now that just equals a dozen sensor cleanings, but obviously I have fungus growth underneath uh, my focusing uh, screen. You see it right there, it's not dirt, that's fungus. Fungus! So. Just insanity, just insanity. Um, I don't know what to say. It's like, you know, how could somebody be telling people something so asininely absurd? It's like, well, do I need to tell somebody not to give sharp knives for children to play with? I mean, it's just like, why do I even have to make a video about something that crazy? So, anyway, <laughs> I had a few requests without mentioning anybody about why this is an insanely bad idea and uh, not to, uh, I beg you, if unless you like destroying your DSLR, don't dare do it. Okay? Thanks for watching.